My name is Rachel. I'm the mod of Ask Stronghold and Trinket, and you're listening to The MBS Show. Hello and welcome to The MBS Show, episode number 141. I am your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Rom. Surprise! All you happy people. Hey, Rom, how are you doing, man? Slowly but surely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of getting sick. Probably caught a cold. It's been snowing for like th- two days now, and it's kind of majestic, but kind of beautiful, but really cold at the same time. <laughs> no heaters. Why can't winters be warm? <laughs> well, go to Australia then. Okay. <laughs> Talking about Australia, hey, Lycan. Hello, everyone. How's your winter? Oh, winter? What winter? It's 32 <laughs> degrees Celsius down here. What's that, like 90, <laughs> 95 Fahrenheit? It's been hot. Yeah, I got no idea. I live in the equator. It's really... <laughs> Well, it's not hot, it's not cool. It's in the middle. So how Every time I'm guest co-host here, I always say hello. I should actually start out with, G'day, everyone! <laughs> That's stereotypical of you. Oh, That's not stereotypical. Like... Stereotypical would be, Oi, mates! <laughs> How you all doing? <laughs> uh... <laughs> and then we'll toss a boomerang at me. Uh, and then we'll ask him, How's jail? Or how's prison? <laughs> uh, not sorry, before you ask me, How's the hospital food? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Well, anyway, how are you doing, man? Seriously. Yeah, I'm doing well. Uh, it's early in the morning, but I don't mind. I'm um, pretty excited to be here again. I'm glad to have you on. Glad to have you on. And our guest for this week is the mod for Stronghold, uh, Rochelle. Hello. How are you doing? I'm well. Just like Lycan, I don't really have winter in Florida. <laughs> uh, let's go my phone. But yeah, m- winter in Florida, eh? So, how is Florida, by the way? Uh, that's a legit question, because I have not been there before. Um, during the summer, it is really bad, because it's not only hot, but it's super humid. Oh but if you come during the lesser, uh, well, the lesser summer, because we don't really have winter, it's really nice, and I like all the springs and the waterways and stuff down here, and I like to go fishing. Oh, a girl that goes fishing, that's rare. Not Really? Well, I guess. From where I'm from, it's rare. Not, not much girls like to do the boys' activity. But yes, yes. <laughs> before we move on and before I get slammed by people who think I'm an idiot, um, I need to ask you the four important question. And question number one is, favorite character? Shining Armor. Oh, really now? Yeah, if you can't tell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but I see why. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but anyway, um, why Shining? I'm just unnaturally obsessed with equestrian guards, and I mm-hmm. thought that if he was built on more, then he would be a really, really cool character. Hmm, alright. But why not Flash? <laughs> because Flash Sentry is the bane of my existence, and I hate <laughs> him, and I hope he dies. <laughs> uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sweetie Bud got that last part out. Nah, it's cool, because everyone else thinks that too. Us the fandom. <laughs> because, see, Shining showed up randomly, but mm-hmm. he still had storyline. Flash showed up randomly, and now he's dating a princess. <laughs> like, what happened? Oh, wait, Shining did that too, but at least he had story. <laughs> <laughs> well, your defense is really bad. But anyway, yeah, um, Shiny, that's cool. Uh, favorite episode? Mm. Um, the Crystal Empire miniseries thing. Oh, the Christian Empire, the end of season two, then. Yes. So the Christian Empire thingy, obviously why? Because shiny. But anything else besides that? Well, not only shining armor, but I also like the Frozen North, and I love world building, and it gave me just something that I could easily world build with and add my own head cannons to. <laughs> and I actually use reference to the Crystal Empire a lot in my stories. Hmm. So, if I remember right, that one is the... Wait, sorry. That was the introduction of Season 3, right? I believe so. Mm, okay, with King Sombrero and whatnot? Yes. All right, all right. I, I got it wrong. Okay, no problem. Moving on to the third question. How did you become a fan of the show? Um, I had a really good friend that went to school with me. He's graduated now, but he was a brony, and he sort of just got me into it. That's basically it. I don't have a very interesting story. Oh, that's cool because um, he was a brony. You were there pondering what was he doing and why was he watching this show for little girls. So what was your first thought? 
I thought that it was pretty cool. Because, yeah, at first I was like, why are you watching this? But I also knew him really well, so I knew that he wouldn't just be watching it for stupid reasons. <laughs> okay. So he showed me um, a few of the first episodes. Uh, the first episode I ever saw was the episode with Flim and Flam. Oh, God. That's my second favorite episode ever, but... I don't know, I just really liked it. And he was like, yeah, ponies! And I was like, yeah, ponies! Uh, that's cool. <laughs> and then we, we sort of just assimilated all of our other friends into it. Oh, God. How many friends have you assimilated? Me personally, or just because of us? Because of us. I'd say at least ten. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. Yay! And last question is, what do your family and friends think about your love for the show? My mom thinks it's perfectly normal, and my dad thinks that it's a it's a weird show, but he tolerates it. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, it's easier because I'm female mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. younger, but... <laughs> oh, true, true. I mean, having that to your advantage is pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then your friends think it's normal too? Yeah, because they're all bronies. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Th those were the guys that they were assimilated, you know? Mm-hmm. So anyway, Ray, thank you for answering those questions. And uh, stick with us. We'll ask you more later on. Okay. Uh, anyway, Rom, next topic, housekeeping. You got a special Yay. one, this one. Oh, this is a big one indeed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> In today's housekeeping, Everfree Northwest panel submissions now open. Hey, Everypony, Royal Coat, the Everfree Northwest co-director of events here, and we have good news for all you hard-working pony fans out there, the events department is proud to announce that we are ready to take submissions for your panels, get-togethers, and whatever else you'd like to run during Airfree Northwest by us. If you have an idea for the next great panel or have a panel you've run before, if you're the first-time panelist or veteran of the stage, we want to hear from you. To submit your panel, head over to Everfree, everfreenw.com slash events and fill out our event submission form. After that, our staff will review your panel and see if we can work out with you to bring your event to life at Everfree Northwest 2015. So, if you have a cool idea for a panel or event you want to run, please fill out the application. We can't wait to hear from you. Keep up on all the things of Everfree Northwest by checking out our website. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Thin Fiction as well. Yep, yep. There you go, folks. If you live close by to where Everfree Northwest is happening, and if you are interested in doing a panel, go ahead, apply, because it's fun. And trust me, if I were there, I would submit my own panel quest submission thingy. Because being on stage in the limelight of everyone looking at you, judging you silently... Okay, I'm not, I'm not selling this, am I? But no, um, if you've done this before, go ahead. It's a lot of fun. And they are asking for panelists. So go ahead. It's worth it, I guess. So moving on to the next topic is guest time. And like I mentioned before, we have Rachelle. Am I saying that right? Yes. All right, because I remember being derpy on the first time we talked. And you did not correct me. <laughs> like I had to correct me, <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit of a jerk. It's okay. But anywho, uh, Ray, you're the mod of Stronghold, right? Yes, ask Stronghold and drink it. Alright, so mind introducing yourself to the people who might not know who you are and what you do? I run a small now blog about an old guard pony pretty much looking back on his life and one particular adventure with one of his acquaintances, Trinket who will be appearing once I get my blog off hiatus. So, how did you get that concept out? As I said before, I'm unnaturally obsessed with guard ponies and such, so I made my own, and then I ended up giving him backstory, and Stronghold was the first uh, character I've ever made in the fandom. So he's had a lot of time, and I just built more backstory and more backstory until I finally got to the point where I was like, I should do a blog, and I did. So before this, did you write it on anywhere else, like film fiction or DeviantArt or any place? Not really, because I don't actually have a full written backstory for him. I just know what happens, but if I were to take the time to actually write it all out, it would probably be over 80 pages. 
<laughs> so that's why I haven't yet. Hmm. So from what I can see on your blog, you have a uh, what you might call this character bible set already for Stronghold and his companions. I have an agenda set for them. Yeah. Hmm. Because I'm looking at it and I see Stronghold the uh, exemplar, or is that for another project that you're doing? Oh, those were just little references I did. I'm gonna actually change those. Ah. But each of my characters has like a little title with them. Like hmm. Stronghold is the exemplar, and Starlight's the protector, I think. And it was just something I did. Mm, all right, all right. Because I'm looking at it, and it's really cool. And I hope you don't mind me saying this, but from what I can tell, this is from an alternate universe kind of Equestria. Because the armor, the set style they're wearing, it's a bit different from the show canon. A bit, but the way I do it is there's nothing that couldn't happen in canon. It's just like I write it as if it's what's happening in the background of the show. Mm, all right, all right, because all right. you've only really seen the ceremonial guards and everything on the outside of the castle. There's got to be more divisions inside and more things happening with it. So you have your Stronghold Us blog, and from what I remember you saying, you did some kind of clue kind of thing you did? <coughs> yes, but that got discontinued because uh, two days before I was going to end it, some things happened. Uh, but that was just as a little Halloween thing. I plan to redo it around Christmas time. Uh, all right, all right. And well, from what I can see, it seems like a fun concept. Sorry I came into a bit too late. It's okay. It's fine, <laughs> really. Like you said, you're probably doing it around uh, Christmas time again, so uh, I'm sure you can catch it then. Mm hmm. True, true. That's good, that's good. Lycan, any questions? You mentioned you're from Florida and that the weather is pretty hot over there. What do you do yeah. um, uh, in your spare time other than drawing? Well, I do work at a horse barn that's about 45 minutes away from me, and I practically live there every weekend. I took today off. And I'm working there tomorrow, and I do that constantly. I'm also advanced open water certified for scuba diving, which I do often. I'm and impressed. I basically, just stay up till two in the morning watching ocean documentaries, like every normal teenager. So, I am impressed. You can dive. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I have just over twenty six hours. Wow. Call upon the sea pony <laughs> when you're in distress. Shoo be doo doop. Shoo be doo. Shoo be doo. That's very I'm impressive. Just, I'm just surprised no one's made my amberjack into a sea pony yet. Amberjack. So that's your um ever pony. Sorry, that's your pony sona. Yes, amberjack is. Hmm. All right. So, well, someone get to it. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you said you work at the barn on a weekend? That's pretty impressive. Yes. I have over 400 hours there. And oh. I it's a lot of work. Uh, we do programs with girls. It's a Girl Scout mm -hmm. Girl Guide camp. And while we do mainly work there, I do get to ride a lot on trails and stuff. And I'm also learning how to do western reining and cutting hmm. on horseback. Oh, that's cool. Not only that you watch the show, you also um, deal with real-life real horses. That is cool. Yeah. I've been told that I do tend to model my characters after real horses, which I do. Well, it looks good. It looks really good. Thank you. It's rare to see, well, that kind of style, and I'm, I appreciate it. I'm glad, I guess. Yeah, trust me. Uh, we said... So so does that mean you actually spend your weekends horsing around? Hardy har har. Yes. Oh, like I don't remember why I went you here. <laughs> <sighs> Please keep on rolling. Oh dear. So um, you, you said you go on trails and treks, was it? Yes. Um, wow. At, um, we mainly do 
uh, trail programs where we take the horses out and then one of the staff rides lead and one rides drag. And I normally ride drag in the back. And we just keep track of the girls. And we have um, over 50 miles of trails, I think. I don't know what that is in kilometers. I'm a filthy casual, but... <laughs> it's cool. You have a lot it's of trails. It's about uh, 90 Ks or so. That's a lot of trails to... to we have uh, 800 acres just oh, wow. over for the whole camp. Oh, that's big. So... I'm looking through your Tumblr thing and looking through all your previous drawings and whatnot. And wow, um, you first you draw with pencils and advance to digital. So, with your pencil work, uh, how long have you been drawing? Uh, ponies or just in general? Mm, let's go with general. A long time. I think I actually started getting really into drawing though about three years ago because mm. that's when I realized it might be helpful later in life <laughs> alright I, I, I stumble upon Ask Batania Ask Batania yes I made the for uh, sketchy sounds and hazel hooves yeah Ask Batania <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah but anywho um, besides um, moving moving from behind to the front <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what's your digital program? What do you use for drawing digital? Oh god. I <laughs> I have an iPad first generation that's owned by the school mm -hmm. and I use the free program Sketchbook Express. Wait, what? You you use your yes. iPad to draw? Yes, it's the only thing I have. So wait, um your on your stronghold um a stronghold <laughs> blog. Oh, hello, doggy. Um, on your uh, stronghold blog, the first picture I'm seeing there, that's drawn with the iPad? Yes. I'm impressed. It's, I don't really have any uh, big programs to use, so that's just what I do. Well, it looks good. I mean, um, they always say that an artist is only worth his weight in gold with the tools that he can use. Um Probably there's something shorter than that, but yeah, that's the analogy I'm going for. So, looking at what you do, I'm impressed. Thank you. Yeah, that's really good. Um, yeah, I thought you were just you... imagine what you, kind of stuff you could do with like a Cintiq 13 or something. Yeah, or maybe or with Sai, Photoshop, or whatever tools they are mm -hmm. out there. And well, looking at this, I I am impressed. Like. If you ask if you ask me if what tool you use, I would go for Photoshop. I would never thought that it would be on an iPad. A first generation like that too. Wow. Those those are not fun to use. They don't have the RAM capacity of like the newer ones. It's been a struggle, but I've managed to get through it. Well, well <laughs> colour me speechless because I, I got no idea what to say. Like any questions? Uh yeah, when was it that you actually joined the fandom? It was after season one finished, because to get me into the fandom, uh, my friend had showed me later episodes from season one. I don't know what exact year that was. That could be 2012, 2013 probably? Yeah, sounds about right. So we, we mentioned earlier on about your um, joining, the, I'm sorry, uh, when you joined the fandom and how you got involved with the fandom. So how are you enjoying the ride? It's been good so far. I've encountered not many bad experiences, actually. And I meet people like you guys, <laughs> so that's always fun. Oh, thank you. So, is this your first time in a fandom? No. Oh. Not really. Actually, yes. Because I, I don't think... I'm so confused. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm, I'm, guess I could say I'm in the Star Trek fandom, but I'm not sure if that would count as a fandom, though. Oh, it's definitely a fandom. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're... then yes, I'm definitely in the Star Trek fandom. So you're Long, tricky then. Definitely. First generation, second generation. I like all of them really, except for Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Wait, this is not, I thought Deep Space Nine was good. People love Deep Space Nine for what I can tell. That's their opinion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, alright, alright. Okay. So Kurt or Picard? Archer. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, all right. Are they going to put you on the spot there? <laughs> I got nothing because I don't come from the Star Trek fandom. All I've got is really bad Star Trek jokes. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, do, do tell. <laughs> really? Oh, they're, they're pretty bad. <laughs> okay. Well, who knows? We might get a giggle. Uh, okay. Where do you find... Um, where do you find all the Klingons hanging around Uranus? <laughs> uh, no. No. <laughs> yep, yeah, no. I agree with that. No. That was bad. No. At least you can edit Sorry. this. Oh. Yeah, I swear you bought Terminate pun. <laughs> no. <laughs> Highlight more puns, please. I love puns. <laughs> so, uh. so, Ray, um... You you have the blog and you have your mod blog. So do you have a DeviantArt? I do, but it's horribly out of date. Oh, why is that? Because I don't go on DeviantArt, and then I haven't been able to upload art for the past two months to anywhere. Oh my! So how do you manage to keep your Tumblr up to date? Well, I normally do have it up to date, and it's just because my laptop's been fried. Ouch! And I've been funding the new one, so I haven't been able to. Hmm, so, mm, wow, that is not fun. Like a broken laptop, oof, trust me, I know I know how you feel. Mm-hmm. So, besides all that, where, where do you see your um, us block in the future? Like, you say that coming around Christmas or December that you're trying to plan for another murder mystery kind of thingy. So, after that, where do you see it? I just reached 100 followers yesterday, so awesome. I hope that it will continue growing and once I'll be able to get the story actually up and running and start stuff happening then I'll just keep cruising along <laughs> well that's good that's good that's good so is your us tumblr blog uh, what you gonna call this um, story based or storyline tumblr or just um, slice of life kind of story it's Bits and pieces of both, because I will answer questions through the story, but I do have a set plot that's supposed to happen. Mm. But because the way it's phrased, because the way it is, is Stronghold and Trinket, like, talking about this one time and sort of having a flashback thing, then I'm able to get slice-of-life questions in the main timeline to happen. Mm, all right. So I'm looking at the character design for Stronghold and Trinket, and Stronghold looks like an old pony. So I'm guessing he's retired. No, not oh. entirely. He is very close to retirement, but he helps train recruits currently. So let me guess: three weeks from retirement. <laughs> no, <laughs> a, wait, a wait, bit wait, longer nudge, nudge. than that. <laughs> okay. Uh, if anybody gets that joke, you're awesome. And Trinket, he's best friends with Stronghold then? Yes. Mm. I don't really want to say much about him because it will be revealed in the blog. Mm. But he is an old acquaintance of Stronghold's. Alrighty then. Uh, well, um, I, guess we, I guess we just have to wait and see then. Mm-hmm. Lai, you got any questions? Uh, yeah, I got one more. Since right. you do come from the Star Trek fandom, have you met John Delancey? Yes, I have, and I've given him a hug before. The f- wow. Explain thyself. <laughs> well, um, my dad owns a comic book store and hence has a lot of sci-fi stuff. Mm. So we go and we vendor a lot at the Star Trek conventions, and John Delancey was at a way mission last year where we went, and he came into the uh, dealer's room beforehand and I gave him a hug. This was after or before your brony fandom? This specific event was after but I was in the Star Trek fandom long before bronies. Oh, so, oh boy. Uh, wow, I'm jelly. No, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I was like I'm hugging Q and Discord at the same time. Did you mention that to him? Yes, I did. I asked him um, which he preferred, and he just said that he liked them both. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, when you think about it, they're like the same character, almost. That's true, that's true. Wow, uh, I am jelly of you. No, no, no. Show's over. Go, go, go away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's cool, it's cool. Like, 
<laughs> Michael, that, that, that is an awesome question. Thank you. No problem. Wait, you say your dad owns a comic book store. Yes. So do you read on the My Little Pony comics? I do not, surprisingly, because I have not been able to get any. Oh, and why is that? Because I haven't been able to get any. He doesn't have them at the store, really. Oh, there's nobody asking for them? Well, there are people asking, but since we're just a family-owned store, we're not a big commercial store, then we sort of just put what pushes really far. Uh, So like the DC and Marvel and stuff. Mm, so it's basically a risk and reward kind of situation, eh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Understandable. Understandable. My local card shop does that too. They're not willing to bring in any accessories because they don't know if it will sell or not, and they surely do not want to stock up on things that will not sell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thinking behind it. Mm-hmm. It's okay. So you go fishing. You ride horse. You have a comic book store. And you go diving, like, wow, I'm impressed. I, I'm, I'm jelly, and wow. Thank you. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm so sad right now. Show's over. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just sitting at my computer. <laughs> oh, jerk. But anyway. Don't it... feel bad. Don't feel bad. Because uh, we have the whole week off this week for Thanksgiving break. Mm-hmm. But um, the teacher is going around and asking people, like, what are you doing? And everyone's like, I'm going to go to Colorado or Canada or wherever. And she got to me and I was just like, I'm going to have a date with the internet, <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> I was uh, the only one who said that. So, well, that is fun. Like, spending time online and stuff. That's good. Yes? No? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now I, now I need to ask the last question. And this is a serious one. Uh, you have to answer this seriously. Do you play video games? I do. Oh. Um, PC or console? PC preferably, but I do play Xbox. Wow. There you go, guys. Follow her. She's perfect. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. Soon soon enough, you'll get those Xbox friend requests. So, favorite game on the Xbox? Um, Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag currently. I really <laughs> like it. So, you haven't got Unity yet? No, I haven't. Oh. I've been meaning to, though. I have it ordered, but I have not oh. been able to play it yet. Ooh, from what I heard, Unity's not that good. Bugs. Bugs all over the place. Oh, dear. Well, they're working on patches, so probably you'll be fine once you pick it up. But, yeah. <laughs> no comments. Oh, dear. But that's from what I heard on the PC side. So since you're getting on the console, probably work. Who knows? Hopefully. Mm-hmm. They're not called bugs. They're called features. It allows you to walk <laughs> through walls and and uh, miss ledges and all these other things. They're features of the game. <laughs> okay. Well, one time, one time, one of the funniest bugs I've ever had with Assassin's Creed is I was raiding this uh, Spanish galleon mm-hmm. with my ship. And I went to go, and the crew is supposed to swing over with you, but they all froze. <laughs> and they were all just, like, hanging onto the ropes, but they were five feet away from the ropes. And oh. they were just in the air, and none so, of them went over. So what you're saying is they're frozen in mid-air, and they forgot to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to fill in a quitting form, please. <laughs> I never thought I could do it. Thank you, like you give me inspiration. <laughs> I I am just stunned. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Yeah, sweetie bot, take my place. <laughs> I'm out of here. You rough are you rum? Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> sweetie bot, change my number before I go. <laughs> and my email. And my everything else. But anyway. Keeping your gender? Oh, God. Except for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's way too pricey. <laughs> oh, but, but anywho, thank you, Ray, for answering those questions and sharing your knowledge with us because <laughs> I'm having a blast. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for asking. No problem. So where can they find you? I'm really unable to link myself, but um, like oh. in 
has linked my DeviantArt, and my Tumblr's already up there, actually, so both the links are there. Okay, cool. I'll insert them in the show notes. So people can find you at astrongholeandtrinket.tumblr.com and also your more blog, us. No, no, there's no us. It's strongword.tumblr.com, right? Yes. And your divina is the humble old guard? Yes. Alrighty then, I'll link everything in the show notes. And thank you. <laughs> that was fun, that was fun. And let's move on to the next topic. And Rose, your time. Fine. Probably the last newscast I'll do in this show. <laughs> no, you have a five-year contract with me, man. Dangus. <laughs> Knew I should have read the final print. Yep, yep. Anywho, and now it's news time. In today's news time, Michael Rooker, next brony celebrity. Recently on Twitter, Michael Rooker, known for his role on The Walking Dead and the recent Marvel movie Guardians of the Galaxy, posted a picture showing him rocking some pony figures. Does this mean he's part of the elite group of brony celebrities? Which we found in the show notes below. So yeah, it's a nearly picture of Michael Rooker with pony swags. Uh, did anyone yeah, see this? Uh, no, I hadn't seen this uh, yet. But um, I, there have been a lot of celebrities coming out and making lots of pony references. Mm, those are, well, just pony references. This one is, like, legit, yo. If you really look at those figures, and, well, here's the thing. Uh, in his twi- Twitter, he says, So can you guess which game I'm playing now? Le mm. So Is he playing, uh, let's see, you know, Halo? No, <laughs> he's playing the My Little Pony Monopoly game. Oh. Because those okay. figures are from that set. So, yeah, and fun fact, um, if you take a look, see at the banner above his head there, that is actually one of the clans for Magic the Gathering. So, yeah, I'm guessing he is at some kind of game shop and he's playing with some friends. <laughs> mm, he probably just likes board games. Mm, probably. And so, and just to have fun, you know, let's just play Monopoly. <laughs> but let's make it fun because we're playing ponies. <laughs> Don't you mean Monopony? Oh, yep, true that. But that's still impressive. 420 retweets and 960 favorites at the time of um, this recording. Mm, true, true. And you know what? It's It's funny to see that he took the time to do it and, you know, not be hating and stuff you know just for the fun of it well if he enjoys the game hope he enjoys the show too so anyway let's move on from took me a while to find the rarity it's on his glasses (laughs) oh well james will appreciate that (laughs) yeah i was about to start judging him like where's rarity and then oh wait she's on his glasses (laughs) never mind my bad (laughs) yeah anyway in next news, Disney may be the cause of Hasbro's failed attempt to acquire DreamWorks. Last week, we mentioned that Hasbro had an attempt to acquire DreamWorks and later on to back down from the deal. During the time, it was thought that the high asking price from DreamWorks and Hasbro's stock dropping was the cause. But apparently, Disney may have had a hand in it. Disney had a note that Hasbro would be labeled as a competition if the deal actually happened. Let's can be found in the show notes below. So, yeah, I mean, last week we mentioned that Hasbro wanted to acquire DreamWorks and they backed down because, well, at the time, stocks fell, high asking price. It's a situation where Hasbro thought, nope, it's a bad idea. And also, when I mentioned before that um, Hasbro was making the toys for Disney with their Marvel line and Star Wars line of toys. So, yeah, I mean, to me, it seems like it's one of those situations where they back down because they didn't want to play both sides of the fence. And, well, it seems that Disney thinks so too. It's not a good idea for them to do it. And from what I heard also, it's that this news was leaked out to the general public. If the news was not leaked out, Hasbro might have bought DreamWorks. So, Mm. yeah, um, I don't know how good this is or how bad it is, but, yeah, it's out there in the wilds. Yeah, from what I heard about this situation, uh, again, this is just what I've heard, so Mm -hmm. don't take it as gospel or anything, but um, apparently uh, Hasbro has a lot to deal with Pixar, and now Pixar is actually a part of Disney. Mm -hmm. So if uh, Hasbro were to acquire DreamWorks, because DreamWorks and Pixar are in direct competition, 
it would mean that there would be a conflict of interest, and as a result, uh, Hasbro had to back down from the takeover acquisition. Mm, that, that is true, that is true. And also, the other reason is because, okay, let's just say in a situation where Hasbro do acquire DreamWorks, Hasbro will be making toys for Disney and DreamWorks, and that's not good. Really now? Yeah, they'll be monopolizing the toy market share. And oh. Hasbro would just like, hey, we have both IPs, so let's do it. That's not good. Yeah, don't they torment us, us enough with Gak? Uh, Gak. Yeah. <laughs> Gak. Gak was more popular than Sombra. Gak, 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 yeah. Gak. Oh, Gak. Uh... Oh, fun fact, Gag is also a uh, name for a Japanese celebrity named Gag. I feel so hmm. sorry for him. Oh no, he's popular, like uber popular. Really popular. Yeah, Gag. So anywho, Hasbro not getting DreamWorks. Nah, it's no loss. If Disney would like to pick Hasbro up, that'll be fun, right? <laughs> well, we'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. Mm-hmm. I don't understand marketing. All this business, I just roll with things. Oh, true. I mean, marketing is... Hard to understand, yet easy to understand at the same time, but not well, easy. Maybe, that's not, maybe this is not market. Anyway, I don't understand this whole business of acquire, purchase, deals, labels, whatever. I just want a plushie. That's all. Uh, well, there's plushie out there, man. Like the Aurora plushie, the 4DE plushie. Yes, uh, I don't know that. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, well, if we move on, we're going to end. So anyway, take us up. I am Romuald with the NBS Show News. Back to you, Norman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And so, moving on to the next topic is shout out. So, my shout out goes to you, Rachel. Thank you for coming on and bringing us some guests. Oh, well, thank you. Sorry if I'm being derpy and whatnot because it is super late for me and I am not in the best set of mind. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Let's go. And also, thank you, Rom and Like, and thank you for being on and backing me up. You guys are awesome. We have a five-year Thanks contract. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, be lucky because you're not James. Well, you locked <laughs> him into a lot time contract? Ten years. Uh, ten years yeah. and five free drawings for every year. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, and uh, thanks for having me on the show as a uh, guest presenter again. Problem lie, no problem lie. I love being on here, it's great. Um, talking to you guys, meeting new people, having a uh, chat, it's, it's awesome. It's fun, because you bring in the puns. <laughs> oh, I try and be punny every now and again. Mm-hmm. He gets to bring in the big puns. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Ro, any shout out? Hi, Mom. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> no dad this week? I always give a shout out to dad whenever I come home to visit. <laughs> Yay, that's awesome, that's awesome. And Lycan, shout out? Uh, shout out to the Bronies that I went and watched Rainbow Rocks to- with today because it just came out to the cinemas <coughs> in Australia. Wow, so you get to watch Rainbow Rocks in the theatres? Uh, yes, so they just put it on at the cinemas now, about two months after it aired in the US. I don't know why, it's not like they had to translate to it to Australian or anything. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those legally shooting things. Yeah. No, so- I- yeah, but yeah. So how was it, man? Like watching it in the big screen with seven point one. Oh, it was great. Um, it's not not just the movie that makes it. It's the people that were there. Like we had, there were about six bronies all together, dressed up, just having a good time, enjoying the movie. It was just lots of fun. Wow, I'm, I'm jelly because I don't have that here. Uh, mm. The last movie I watched was Big Hero Six. So, a shout out to all the Queensland bronies out there. Yay. Yay. Ray, you should. Big Hero 6 is awesome. I will. I'll make sure. Yay. So, shout outs for you? I will shout out Sketchy Sounds and Hazel Hoops because they're my good friends and I feel like we need a shout out. And also to the mod of Ask Stonehoof Bastion, King's Mod, because I love you, Daddy. Oh, this is sweet. And I hear a quarry in the background. That's, sorry, that's mine. It's cool. Fishies! Yay! <laughs> they so, say hello. <laughs> blup, blup. I heard one swam upside down. Was it a new trick? No, he got blown by the filter. 
Well, uh, usually when fish are upside down, it's a bad sign. Yeah. He was very derpy. Maybe I should name him Norman. Hey! <laughs> oh, okay. But anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the MBS show at gmail.com. And if you would like to email us personally, you can reach me. Well, links are in the show notes below. Also, you can reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. Sudibot will tweet about being, well, not as pissed off as before and thinking about how to lock Rom down for another five years. Unless I reprogram her to assassination. <laughs> yes, and the first target will be you. <laughs> uh, hey, I'll it. be out of the contract. <laughs> oh, you'll still be hers then. But anyway, you can also reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And my addiction to magic has been slowing down. Yay. And Ro, what about you? You can find me at reliciousgallery.tumblr.com or my deviant reliciousdeviantart.com. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Lycan, how can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash very lichen. Awesome. I'll be sure to put that in the show notes. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. You can also catch us on PonyVidLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. So, I am Norman Sanzo. I am Romuald. I am Lycan. And I'm Stronghold. And I'm not going to be a fish like what Ray said. No, I'm not bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> Anywho, Ro, take us out. Thank you all so much for listening to our podcast. Check out the website for more podcasts that we've done. And as always, we will see you on the next podcast. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.